Hey folks, today is Friday, May 31st, 2019. As usual, it's me, Jake Baldino, here to talk about the video game news and stuff that's been going on this week. And there's been a lot, so let's just get right into it. The first thing is the Avengers game that we've been talking about, wondering where it's been. Well, it's back, and it's going to be revealed at E3, but we did get little bits of information about it, thanks to uh, seemingly maybe an early post from E3 Coliseum, which is the event going on alongside E3 that was going to be hosting panels. There will be a whole panel and breakdown for the new Avengers game that Square Enix has teased on their social accounts. It's got a new logo. I'm happy it's finally a thing I'm glad they didn't cancel it or anything like that but the info from the panel description is very interesting I'm just gonna read it as it is assemble in teams up to four players master extraordinary abilities customize your heroes to fit your playstyle, and combine powers to defend an ever-expanding world under constant threat also this coincides with the press release they had released originally that said featuring a completely original story it will introduce a universe gamers can play in for years to come that to me sounds like a games as a service game. This panel description was taken down. Maybe it did come out too early. Maybe it's not correct. So, you know, but still, I just kind of wanted this to be a single player or regular co-op fun experience, not really an ongoing games as a service game. I'm willing to be convinced, of course, I'm open to anything. They could make this thing really badass and go outside the box and be creative on how they can design a game to keep us playing. But I gotta say, like when I think of one of my favorite heroes and playing them in a video game or like my all time favorite Captain America, I don't picture him just doing the same thing over and over again to grind for a new shield. Thankfully, we won't have to wait too long to get the actual information because the second we in June is going to be a, a rushing water of insane game news. But of course, the other big bit of news this week is that we got the trailer, the official reveal for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. This is the official next Call of Duty game. It's being made by Infinity Ward. And we made a video on it, and I was actually lucky enough to go to Infinity Ward's offices and check out this game behind the scenes a couple weeks back. I got to watch two complete playthroughs of scenes from the game, and I gotta say, the trailer does not sell it at all how different it seems. The trailer just kind of seemed like, okay, more Call of Duty, but it's got a new engine, completely new photogrammetry graphics, and uh, it's a little slower and a little more realistic and honestly kind of shocking. I had described this in tweets, but a lot of it felt like they're going for like no rush in the game, which I'm sure they're not happy about me describing it that way, but that's what it felt like to me. Uh, so hopefully we get more information soon. That's all I can give you right now. We got to move on because we also got a big reveal for Death Stranding. Finally, some questions have been answered. Uh, a lot more questions are now being answered asked but we got a big lengthy trailer that serves as a little bit of a breakdown of what the game is it's a lot of traversal in an open world using tools and a vehicle uh, some stealth some third person shooting some villains some enemy types and of course lots and lots and lots of cutscenes which I am here for we got the whole cast revealed seemingly Troy Baker's in it he wears a mask then he takes his mask off to reveal he is wearing another mask there's a baby in it that does a backflip wait the baby does a backflip yeah and the ending scene with the evil skeleton soldiers is still so awesome. I'm all about that. Uh, alongside the trailer, Kojima did release uh, a little bit more of like a breakdown of certain elements and how the connected shared world will work with other players. It's a little Dark Soulsy. It's still also kind of vague. Don't know where they're going with it, but... Sorry guys, I'm a diehard Hideo Kojima nerd. I don't care what crazy weird bullshit it is. I'm gonna eat it up and I'm gonna play it. And you know, I don't apologize for it. It's my thing. I don't know. I love his weird creative genius. If you even want to call it genius, I don't know what it is. That whole trailer will be linked in the description below as well as everything else we talk about. And I'm really curious to see what you guys think of it uh, because it still just confounds people and I'm all about it. I like asking questions and having them answered for me later on. Now moving on to Xbox, they dropped a couple of little details this week. Uh, basically stuff to expect for E3. First, Spill Spencer, the, the Spill Spencer, Phil Spencer, Jesus. Phil Spencer went on record saying that at their E3 presentation, which is apparently going to be massively long at like two hours, 14 games will be revealed. There might actually be more than that, but to clarify from him, he said, we have 14 Xbox Game Studios games to show. After last year when they revealed how many studios they were buying up, I I'm curious we're going to see at least little tiny glimpses of what some of those studios are working on. So that's cool. That's something to look forward to. It's nice to see Microsoft kind of making do on what they said. And, you know, I don't know. I still have to see it before I believe it. But I'm just looking forward to seeing what happens overall this E3. Uh, they also revealed apparently more is going to be shown at their conference, but we are getting Xbox Game Pass for PC. 
We don't have tons of information about it. It is going to be a variant of it. There will be like more than 100 games available, they said. And I like that. I've said on record before, I'm not, I have no allegiance to platforms despite what people like to yell at me and think that I do. But I don't know, I dig Game Pass. It's like a nice passive thing to just hop in and download a weird old game and play. That's what I do in my spare time and it's been working for that. So to have it on PC is cool. Uh, also, Microsoft did say that they're not really gonna go for Epic exclusivity type stuff. Uh, and they are talking about putting different things on Steam. Apparently, putting Halo stuff on Steam was only the beginning. We'll see where this all goes. Honestly, I'm looking forward to it from a Nintendo Direct to whatever Sony's gonna do, even though they're not technically going to E3, and what Microsoft has got. I'm just excited all around. Don't mind me and my hype train. Let's just move on. Now, before we move forward, this episode is brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. Now, we all have our own weird random routines in the morning on how we take care of ourselves and grooming. Mine's kind of like the beginning of American Psycho. But um, whether, you're <laughs> whether you're uncomfortably vain like me or you're just a complete mess of a person, Dollar Shave Club does have something for everybody. It can make you feel fresh and not feel like you've been playing games for 20 hours straight. Now I say that because you might not know this, but Dollar Shave Club is actually more than shaving. It can have all of your grooming needs in one single box. It's great quality stuff and it comes right to your door. Right now you can get their shave, shower, or oral starter set for only five bucks. They sent us all a little bit of it to try it out and yeah, it's legit. This might sound kind of funny, but in the oral care starter set, I really like the way the toothpaste tastes. What? Don't laugh at me. It's good. The toothbrush is also pretty high quality too, even if you just want to have an extra, if you travel a lot, that's good. But I'm also just saying to join the club with one of their starter sets for only five bucks. After that, the restock box ships regular size products at regular price. So if you want to get in on this action, this exclusive deal, go to dollarshaveclub.com slash game ranks to get in on it. And thanks to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring this video. Now to run through a couple of cool links you should check out and watch and stuff like that. We got a few things down there. The first thing is uh, uh, some fans actually took the Sonic the Hedgehog movie trailer and replaced that movie Sonic with an actual, you know, regular Sonic. And it still looks weird. <laughs> But I'm bringing it up because I want you to see and judge for yourself. I also thought it was just impressive that they did it. Not only that, because there's not enough time to talk about everything, but the Pokemon company did come out and announce a shit ton of new things, including uh, shirts, a uh, new Pokemon hub in, in general, uh, Pokemon Sleep Tracker, a new upcoming mobile game. There's a lot to digest if you're a hardcore Pokemon fan, so that whole press conference is linked in the description below for you. But something I am excited about is uh, they, their trailer dropped for uh, Ghostbusters, the game being remastered and brought to this current generation and I'm so excited about that because man that was an underrated game like I, that game was really great that was almost like the third Ghostbusters movie but in video game form and it's totally cool and now more people will get to check it out so I'm pretty hyped about that also briefly back on Nintendo Switch uh, Cadence of Hyrule uh, that game that was announced very very cool idea it's been floating around when it's going to drop now we know officially it is going to be dropping in June so look forward to that try not to forget about that in the midst of all the other E3 hype because that looks like that could be a good ass game but also got to bring it up for the hardcore PC nerds out there uh, Beam Dog has announced that we're getting the classic D and D games on all platforms. I never thought that would be an announcement I would hear today. That's crazy. We're getting like the original two Baldur's Gate games. We're getting Planescape, Torment, Icewind, and Neverwinter Nights. It's wild. It looks like it's going to be Switch. The consoles they're going to be rolling out in September with uh, Neverwinter Nights being in December, and I'm pumped for that as an old person. But hold up a sec. It doesn't stop there. Actually, thanks to some interesting news, Larian Studios, the guys behind Divinity Original Sin, uh, most recently two, which was a kick-ass spiritual successor to games like Baldur's Gate, it looks like Larian Studios might be working on an actual full new Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, an image has been teased with what looks to be a three. A lot of people assumed it was Divinity Original Sin 3, which still could be, but some internet sleuths have put together that it is going to be a fully Wizards of the Coast licensed new Baldur's Gate game. That is wild. I never thought crazy stuff like that will be going down, but I am so looking forward to that. I hope this is true, but we'll see where it goes. Like I've been saying, I think the next two weeks or so are going to be very exciting. Still just holding my fingers crossed for a Splinter Cell game. Please, every god in the universe, make that be true. I don't know. Uh, let's move on. Let's talk about that giveaway we do every single week. You know how this goes by now. There's a link in the description below. You click it to sign up, you enter once, then you're entered for good, and then every week we randomly go in and choose one person to win a free console of their choice. And this week's winner is going to be 
this person right here. Congratulations, be sure to keep an eye on your inbox, your spam box, stuff like that, so we can figure out how to send you your free stuff. But now, before we go, just a little catch up, a couple of videos we have been putting out lately, uh, Oculus Rift, Oculus Quest before you buy, if you're curious, that's up there. Uh, we also did like an E3 fantasy predictions video that we had a lot of fun doing. And that Call of Duty Modern Warfare video we did bust out yesterday. Uh, definitely check that out. There's a lot more information that I was able to get uh, that they didn't reveal in the trailers. When I was at Infinity Ward, I literally wrote down things like a crazy person. Uh, so go check it out if you're curious, uh, even if you're just more of a single player or a casual Call of Duty fan. We put out so many videos every week, I figured I'd just kind of like keep you guys posted on like stuff I think you should check out. But that's what we got for you this week. So I do want to talk to you guys in the comments what you think about uh, the stuff going down. What do you think that Avengers game is going to be like? I really hope it's good, but I don't know, man. I don't know. I hope... I like I said, I'm willing to be convinced. And what do you make of Death Stranding now that we've seen a little bit more substantial stuff? I still think they should show more gameplay. I hate that they're still being coy about it. Are they not confident in it? I don't know. Just let's have more. And also with the next Xbox and the PlayStation 5, how do you feel about what these guys are up to lately? Or maybe you're just sitting in the corner on your PC cackling to yourself. I don't know. Let's talk about anything down in the comments. I'll be down there as much as possible, but if you really got anything else for me, be sure to yell at me on Twitter and Instagram at Jake Baldino. But as always, thank you guys for watching every Friday. Really appreciate that you guys come around. This is still like the most fun part of our week. We're also live every Tuesday at 4 p.m. EST if you want to check that out, me and the boys. But that's really it. Thank you guys for watching. Clicking the like button does help us out. We would really appreciate that. And if you're new, consider subscribing because we put out f videos every single day, dude. I mean, we have 5 million subscribers now. It's nuts. Wow. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Pizza's on me.